Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started on your channeled message. I do ask that you take what resonates, leave what does not, and know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Oops, did I mess up the cards? Did I mess up the cards? There we go. There we go. There we go. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What is the channeled message? Message for someone out there. What is the message? False person. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay. False person. So the false person card is pretty self-explanatory. Someone is presenting themselves to be what they are not. Okay, in the Kipper booklet, it says uh, salt is, uh, uh, even salt looks like sugar. Okay, so this calls for using your intuition or furthermore, using discernment. Okay, let's see here. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles. Tell us more about this Nine of Swords. Okay. Tell us more about this message. The Empress. Tell us more about the message. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. I can, I can feel this person. This is going to sound so odd, but I can also smell. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but this person here, they carry this energetic sense and um, it's an energetic sense. So it's not an actual uh, smell, okay? But it's like you have someone who's coming towards you Okay, I do feel like this is a feminine energy who's coming towards you, all right? And expectation, okay? So I feel like they're coming sooner, sooner than later is what I'm hearing. This person is trying to finesse you. They're trying to finesse you out of an opportunity that you have been chosen for. The Ace of Pentacles, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Ace of Pentacles could represent, um, it's a blessing. It is a blessing of prosperity. It's coming out of the helping hands of the Most High. When you see the Ace of Pentacles, just know that you're about to prosper. Know that you're about to see a financial increase in your life. It could represent a financial offer of, or a very valuable opportunity. It could represent a job, a job promotion. You are leveling up. And what I'm hearing is this offer, this opportunity is already yours. You have been chosen for it. Your name is all on this blessing. It's being delivered to you. And then in the physical, the people have already chosen you for it. Okay, so for example, it's just an example. It's going to be different for everyone. But for example, if it's a job, that company, that manager, they've already selected you for the position. If it's something that you wanted to make a purchase for, but they were, there were other uh, uh, buyers, 
you were the one who, who your, your offer was chosen, was accepted. It's already yours, which is why this person feels like, man, they can't take it from you, right? They can't, they can't sabotage this. All they can do is come to you who this offer was given to. All they can do is come to you and try to take it from you. Someone's trying to get you to give up what is yours. Simple. Okay, someone is trying to get you to give up, okay, what is yours? Mm -hmm. Because it was given to you. It has your name on it. Expect to see this person, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, who knows? But expect to see an individual come forward and you must discern them because this individual, they're like, I have to find a way to get him or her to give up what was given to them. What can we know, okay? Main female. What can we know about this person here, this thief here? Lovers. What can we know about this thief here? They're in your community. They're in your community. The lovers came out. And the lovers represents a close bond between two people, romantically or platonically, a lover or a friend. What can we know about this person? Mature man. Tell us about this mature man. Ooh, see? For some of you, it's a man. For some of you, it's a woman. But that's who you should be expecting. Mature man and expectation. Or it could be two. It's two people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh my gosh, it's two people. That's why the lovers came out. They're in a partnership. This could be a couple. This could be a couple, a romantic couple, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. They're romantic. Is that what it is? Holy Spirit, let me see here. I'm trying to be as specific as can be. King of Swords in the reverse. It's a romantic couple. It's a romantic couple. But why do I feel like they don't want you to know that they're romantically linked? This is the Hierophant. They could be married. The Hierophant is here. They could be married. What can we know about this duo, this couple here? Let me see the world card. I don't even know if I want to go into them because I'm already seeing something here um, about their personal business. It's a couple. Is it a couple? I'll tell you that. I feel like it's a couple. Justice, it is a couple. It's a couple, but I keep on hearing that they don't want you to know that they are linked, that they are together. But it's a romantic couple, but I kept on hearing they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that. But anyways, um, thank you, Holy Spirit, for that detail. Um, yeah, they're a mess. There are some personal things that I was saying about them. But anyways, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles. 
this person here main female bear with me you guys main female Tell us about this main female, which I feel is you. They're looking at you. They've already scanned you. They've already analyzed you. They know that you're the message. They know that you are the one who was chosen for this job, job promotion, offer, opportunity. You were chosen for it. They know it. And you're probably about to receive news about it very soon, family room. Um, you're about to receive news about it very, very soon. But these people, they know it's you. It's like, I don't know, they got, they got word about you or something like that. Um, child. Knight of Cups. You could be significant. There, there could be a significant age difference. Because you're showing up as child and then Knight of Cups. You're young. In their eyes, you are young. Okay? You're even showing up as a knight. So compared to them, when it comes to age, compared to them, you are significantly younger. The knights would be people in their 20s. Because it goes pages, knights, king, queen, emperor, emperor empress. So pages are like, uh, I always see pages as like child, children. And then the knights reminds me of someone who could be in their 20s maybe even to their early 30s. 20s to early 30s. Um, but yeah, they see you as someone who is significantly younger than them. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These people have already scanned you. Let me see. And when I say scan, I'm saying they've done research about you. Queen of Wands. Ah, there's something too about, uh-huh, there we go. Lots of details. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you'll know this is you. There's something about you that's also exotic is what I'm seeing here. There's a difference between you and this couple. In age, maybe with your background, your race, your, race, your ethnicity, something like that. And you have a partner, King of Wands, who does not play about you. This person is your protector. You're romantically linked to someone, whether you've met them yet or not. But they're right there behind you, protecting you and guarding you. Allow this person to protect you. Because uh, you have a very, very valuable opportunity that other people want. And they've been plotting on how they can take it from you. And your person, King of Wands, is king, the King and Queen of Wands are fire. A fire couple. Passion. These, these two people are warriors. They've been on the battlefield. They're not scared of anything. Fierce, fearless. Your person is crazy. <laughs> if you think you're crazy, just wait till you get to know your person if you haven't already read. Your person's crazy. Your person is wild. But it's a reason why they were chosen for you. Because you need a protector. You need someone who does not play about you and would go to extreme extents to protect you. And that's what they've been doing. Um, because there is a valuable opportunity and there are some people who have done their research, they've heard word about, 
you being the one who was chosen for it and they're plotting, but they can't come close because your person is in your life, whether you have met them yet or not, or they've been at a distance. You have a, you have a king of wands who's already circled you. And what do I mean by that? If you're here, they're here. Like this person circles you. I don't know how to explain it. You could be in a building and this person has already circled the entire building, making sure that you're safe. And that's how it's always, if you're here, they're like here circling you. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Okay. But it's like a circle. If you're here, they're here. They're always circling around you, watching your radar. Okay. They're always on the radar when it comes to you, watching you making sure that you are guarded. They're always surrounding you in some way. And it may feel overwhelming. It may even feel a bit like, okay, is this person trying to control me, possess me? They're not doing it maliciously. It is innate for them. It is innate. This is, this is someone who is already taking on their role as your protector. Okay, this person is so powerful that if somebody wants to mess with you, the moment they find out that you are, uh, that you are their, their partner, they get scared. The moment people find out that you're connected to this king of wands, they back off. Okay, there's something about your person that's, that can be very intimidating and fearful, and they're meant to be that way, to protect you. They're meant to be scary, <laughs> is pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's almost like you have a lion, okay? Um, like I said, the king and queen of wands are warriors, but it's like you have a lion, and this lion will, will kill, bite anybody <laughs> but you. Okay, except you, because you're the one who they're meant to guard and protect. So they're because I'm seeing there's certain things about this person where you may feel like, man, I can't tame this person. I can't get them out. I can't get get them under control. Let them be wild and reckless. The more scary they are, the more nobody will mess with you because there's something here about you where I feel like you are a very significant person. You're a very special person and you have like you have a higher calling on your life and you have to stay focused on it. And as you're staying focused on your calling, you need protectors around you so that the enemy can't do anything to you, can't, can't, can't infiltrate, you know? Um, and that's exactly what it is. No, it's very, I'm even hearing this person has already been protecting you. So it's hard for anybody to get close to you. And you may take that as, oh my gosh, this person's trying to, uh, control me or scare people off, let them do their job. And this person is also very, very gifted as well. They can, they can see danger from a mile away. So if you see that they're not fond of someone, they don't want you to hang out with someone, trust their intuition. It's for a reason. You have too many important things to be distracted. Okay. Um, and this person is going to help you to block block the distractions let them do their job is what i'm trying to say now i do feel i do feel like there's a couple here uh a man and woman there's two there's two of them and they are false people they did not sh they, they did not bump into you they didn't run into you these people are in your community for a reason so if these are your neighbors, they didn't move to that house right across the street from you for, you know, no reason. They did it because they know who you are and they know what you have. I literally just heard the offer has already been given to you. So now these people, your competitors, this man and woman, they're thinking maybe we can get close. Let me see what their, um, what their, their agenda is. Your person is scary. Your person is very, the king of wands, the king and queen of wands are very attractive people. Your person could be very handsome, very gorgeous, but they're not friendly. They don't care about any anybody else but you. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's like you have a, a, like a, like a private bodyguard or something. 
um, let them do their job. They know what they're doing, okay? Um, oops. What is it, these people here? This man and woman couple here, false people here, Holy Spirit. What can we know about their agenda? We know it's to take it from you. Five of Swords, yep. They want to take it from you. Oops. King of Cups. Ah, Judgment. I just saw something here. Yeah, and then Six of Swords. It feels like it's an opportunity that her husband wanted. It's a man and woman, husband and wife, mother, father, empress, emperor sort of people. Okay? Her husband wanted this opportunity. But it wasn't given to him. And you're significantly younger. Okay? And... um there's something, I keep on hearing, like there's something about you that stands out. Like you may look exotic or something. Very, very attractive. Um, something about you that stands out, whether it's your eye color, hair color, hair texture, skin color, skin tone, shade, features, your features, sh like strikingly beautiful, both you and your person. When people look at the two of you, they're like, whoa, you know, strikingly beautiful. Um, There's something here. Her husband wanted this. Her husband. Her husband wanted this. Where's this Holy Spirit? Please tell us more. Sudden wealth. Wow, this is a valuable opportunity pathway. I feel like these are people who have worked very hard. Her husband has worked very, very hard. I even feel like he could be financially abundant. But this opportunity here is his biggest breakthrough. This is someone who has been working very, very hard all his life, climbing to the top, and the biggest opportunity comes in, but it's get, it, it gets given to you, someone who is significantly younger. And you would be shocked at how people think these days, right? They think that because you're young, you can't do this and blah, 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 blah. So there's a little bit of an ego bruise here <laughs> about why it was given to you and not them. Okay, um, there's this thing, your person's energy, the King of Wands energy is showing up. Your person has a wild side. I wonder if it's because I'm talking about another male, but his energy, the King of Wands energy came out all of a sudden. He's ready to... <laughs> He's ready to handle this mature man over here. I'm just saying. Um, there's a, there's something that I want you to know about your person. Like the strength card. This is how you and your, look. It's the third card in. Wow. On the back. It's like this is you and this is your person. The lion. And anyone who comes too close. And lions, you know the way they act. They're very territorial. Very protective. And it's meant to be that way. Trust me. You want to be as guarded and protected as can be because you have a higher calling on your life. And there are certain special missions that God has for you. And you need a, 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 a person here in the physical protecting you. Okay, I'm telling you, there's something about this person that's like, wow, they are very, very powerful. Um, 
but scary to some people. And that's, that's how it's meant to be. But that's crazy. I'm talking about the emperor and king of wands energies like coming in. Um, but yeah, this emperor here feels some type of way. Like the five of swords, I asked what their, their agenda, what can we know about their agenda? It's to cause you to lose. The five of swords is a loss. The five of swords is, is uh, defeat, having to surrender, having to lose your opportunity and surrender what you have so that it can go to him. Maybe he was the second runner up or something. Okay, um, so just be careful. Um, you are protected, know that. They can't take it from you. They can't. Nobody can stop this but yourself. You're the only one who can mess this up. So if you do something stupid, then you'll mess it up, right? Or if you do something stupid and then these people catch you, right? Because they're in your community. Who knows if they've been digging, researching you, wanting you to make a mistake so that they can, you know, have record of it and use it against you. Keep your record clean. Behave well in public. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clearly your record is already clean. That's why you were chosen for it. You know, so you've done everything right this whole time. This mature man has just been this, these, this couple, they've just been watching and waiting for you to mess up so that they can use it against you. Yeah, it's to defeat you, the five of swords. Have you mess up and have to surrender this pentacle that was given to you? Um, king of Cups is here. I feel like there's a King of Cups that you may want to be careful with. Let me see. Clarify the King of Cups. Ten of Swords. Ooh, ooh, these people are, ooh, these people are malicious. These people are plotting. They could have sent someone to you, hoping that you would have been attracted to them and see them as a romantic interest. Ooh, these people are malicious. Ooh, these people are malicious. The There's a King of Cups here who you may be attracted to or interested in. Or even, no, because you have a king of wands here. There's someone here, a king of cups, okay, who may be more so on the sensitive side, empathetic, intuitive, compassionate, yada, yada, yada. But look, they were paid, like the ten of swords, they're, they were paid to backstab you. The Ten of Swords is betrayal. Okay, let me sit up <clears throat> because this is, see look, Ace of Cups. This, these people are out here paying people to, be, to like do something. The Ace of Cups, but you are protected. Please do not allow fear to sit in you. Don't let fear to consume you or paranoia. This was happening before you could even find out about it. And God was handling it. So just because it's been revealed doesn't mean that you have to be fearful. Okay? Because even before you knew about it, it was happening, but you were still protected. Right? So nothing has changed. Now that you're aware, you can just note it and be more careful. Okay? And that's it. The Ace of Cups. There, something romantic was supposed to happen between you and this King of... Let me see. Holy Spirit, tell us more about this King of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. Ace. Something romantic was supposed to happen, but this person was sent on, a, on an uh, assignment. Yeah, to make you do this. Five of Cups is regrets, crying over spilled milk, a missed opportunity. They wanted you to have a missed opportunity. There's someone here. These people are... <laughs> I'm sorry, but these people, this man and woman, they're looking at you for your age or something about your age. And they may think that you're naive because of your youthful age, or they may think, oh, he's a single man. He's a single young man. Or, oh, she's a, she's a single young woman. Okay, let's send her 
a man. Let's send him a man to kind of distract her. Like there, there's something here where they thought that they could distract you with a, by using a romantic interest. Three of Pentacles. He was paid. There's someone here, she or him or her, okay? There's someone here who was paid and sent to you to be your romantic interest. Only to backstab you and cause you to have a missed opportunity. They thought that you would be distracted by, like if you're a young woman, they thought you'd be distracted by a man. If you're a young man, they thought they could send a, a young woman to you to distract you, but clearly that didn't work. I don't feel like this person was even able, I don't feel like this King of Cups was even able to get close to you because your King of Wands was right there, physically, spiritually, energetically. So they couldn't really approach you like how they wanted to. There, I told you, your king of wands keeps like this surveillance on you and it's not to control you. It's not to make you upset. It is to protect you. So just get used to it, okay? Um, don't allow the enemy to uh, poison your mind where you end up resenting someone who was actually sent into your life to protect you. This person does not have any ill intent at all. They're meant to surround you like that because you see, this King of Cups was supposed to pursue you romantically. They were supposed to get to chatting with you, get to know you, get up and up close and personal with you. Mm -hmm. But they weren't able to because your King of Wands was right there, whether you could see him or not, or see her or not. These are energies, okay? But it was a collaboration against you. The Three of Pentacles. It could have even been a situation where you just weren't interested. Maybe this King of Cups presented themselves, but you overlooked them because you weren't interested. Right? So that, that agenda, yeah. You may have not even noticed this King of Cups. You were supposed to, and you were supposed to fall in love with him or her and let him or her take you on a date and then betray you. The Ten of Wands is burdens, worries, and stress. I feel like something happened where you could have overlooked this King of Cups because you had a lot on your plate, so your mind wasn't clear. Um, yeah. They had paid someone to come into your life and try to woo you, <laughs> you know? I'm laughing because that's crazy. But they paid that. It was, a, it was a collaboration. Wow. This must be a big, big opportunity. This is something that's going to bring you sudden wealth. And look, pathway. The pathway has been made clear. This is yours. You don't have to fight for something that's already yours right? They're fighting because it's not theirs. So don't join them in their stupidity. Don't join them in the fight. It's already yours. You're the winner. It's just when the time is right, that's when you're going to know about it, hear about this opportunity. So King of Pentacles, tell us about this King of Pentacles. lovers is it in the reverse y'all see i hate it when it comes out like that is it in the reverse tell us about this lovers here mm, six of pentacles tell us about this king of pentacles tell us about this king of pentacles wait a second Okay, tell us about this King of Pentacles. The Hierophant and the Hangman. In the reverse, though. Feel like that could be you. Despair, but it's in the reverse. Mm. 
Oh, so that's this King of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. You're showing up as a King of Pentacles because you're about to, you're about to acquire wealth. Um, you need, to, but you need to be careful of these sorts of people, right? The thieves, the Seven of Swords, and look, they're looking right at you, <laughs> right? This is so obvious. Wow, it's clear. The Seven of Swords represents uh, someone who is lying, stealing, manipulating, sabotaging, withholding important information. It's sneakiness and they're looking right at you because the King of Pentacles is someone who's very successful and very financially well off. That's you. You may not know about it yet though, but you have, you have been given an opportunity that's going to change your life, okay? You're no longer, I remember despair came out, but it was in the reverse. Maybe you've been out of, uh, maybe you've been experiencing hardships and difficulties in life. That's all over. That's, it's over. No more suffering. No more struggling. Um, that despair card came out in the reverse. Okay? No more feeling restricted, limited, bound. Feeling powerless. No more, no more feeling restricted or limited because of, of your lack of resources and tools, tools and resources. The journey card is here. You're about to be set free. You're about to go on a journey. And I see you, look at you here, night, right? I see you here running free. When this, when you get out of this prison, imprisonment here, right? You're going to be running free and pursuing your dreams, your goals, and your ambitions. No more. Look, the Hierophant is someone who's powerful and influential, and the Hangman is in the reverse. There's something here that's happening. I'm telling you, this is going to happen sooner than, than you know it. Sooner than later. Because... I feel like something's about to be revealed. I feel like you're about to be seen by many other people. I feel like for quite some time, maybe you were hidden a little bit. And that was for a reason. Your season of being in that hermit hermit mode um, where you're, you're isolating and to yourself, it's about to be over. You're about to come out of that hermit energy. You're no longer suspending, right? You're no longer suspending. There's so, you're about to be let go of. You're about to be freed. There's something here. Let's look more into this power font and hangman. house I'm telling you some like something's been official something's been officialized something here is a done deal like your name has been signed on it something here is yours something has been completed and officialized like the decision has been made final judgment you are the one who was chosen It's a done deal. If it's something where they had to make a decision for some time, right? The decision has now been made. This is for you. The house card, maybe it's like an estate that's going to be for you. Maybe it's an estate that's going to be for you. Maybe it's a building that's going to be for you, a business, a company that's yours. Maybe it's even a house. Maybe you got approved for a house or property. I feel like it's property. If it's not property, um, we could see it more, more abstractly, right? If it's not property, then, then abstractly it could be... Um, the, the house card represents like long-term security and stability. 
then it's a job that's going to really, really sustain you for a long, 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 long time. Okay. It's an opportunity that's going to give you that security and stability long term if it's not a physical property that's been given to you. Okay. So we can, we can read the house card literally and abstractly where it could be a property or it could be more so figuratively where this is saying that whatever this opportunity is, it is long term. Okay. You're going to be secure for a long, long time, which is really, really good. Um, so it's like half and half. Okay. For some, for half of you, it's property. For other, for the other half of you, it's some sort of opportunity that's going to last a long time and it's going to secure you very, very well. Um, wow. Yeah. You needed the protection. Everything's going to become more and more clear as to why you met this King of Wands around this time. You needed the protection because these people would have tried you in so many ways to take this from you. But it's like you ran into your protector right on time because this was all a part of the divine plan. And these people, their plan will fail. It has already, honestly. Like I said, nobody can mess this up but you. The pentacle is in your hands and they're watching you. They're watching you holding it. Um, wow. Very, very, this is amazing. The Hierophant is powerful, influential, could be a, a teacher, leader, uh, counselor, advisor, but people look up to the Hierophant. Okay, so this is a this is a position that's going to give you a lot of power and influence that I'm sure you're going to you're going to use it for good. Um, the six of pentacles. So you see how the lovers is in the reverse because oh, because it was given to you. This man or the other people who wanted it, they were rejected. I hope you go out today feeling like the winner that you are. I hope you go out today feeling like the winner that you are. Yeah. Many of you have been chosen, you know, chosen spiritually as the chosen ones. And now God is revealing it to you physically where you're being chosen for big opportunities because you are big. You are a giant. You are powerful. The lovers is in the reverse because there's no longer a choice. In the upright is a choice. For example, if this is something where people had to choose who's going to get this, the choice is you, right? So the case is closed. The, the case is closed. There's no longer a decision that needs to be made. There's no longer a choice that needs to be made. Their choice is you. <clears throat> Excuse me. The six of pentacles. It's going to be, it's, you see these two people? Oh my gosh. See this woman? She's giving it to one of them. And she chose her. The Six of Pentacles is an offer being given to you. Wow. You showed up. When I clarify the King of Pentacles, you showed up as the despair, but in the reverse. Disparity is no longer in your life. Despair is not yours anymore. Prosperity is yours, success and elevation, wealth, and wealth in all forms, not just materially, is yours. You're stepping into your season of abundance. It's just a matter of time for you to hear this. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. Congratulations. Um, and look what's behind the despair card, wealthy man. That's you. Okay, and what I what the Holy Spirit is telling me is these people are wondering where did you come from? Who are you? Right? It's like you you may be unfamiliar. Like people may not even know who you are, but they're about to know you. They're about to know who you are because you're the one who was chosen by God first, 
right? Which is why you even got chosen, which is because of him that you even got chosen for this opportunity. So maybe you were not in the race from the very beginning, but God puts you in the final race. And now these people are like, who is him? Like, who, who? Who is he? Who is she? Where, where, where did it come from? You came from God. They don't need to know your background. They don't need to know your backstory. Let them mind their business. Okay? And I'm telling you guys that for a reason because people will have questions and you don't need to give them answers. Okay? When you serve God, your life just looks like a miracle because it is. It's unexplainable because it's a miracle. You don't have answers for it because it's a miracle. If they ask you, how did you get it? So-and-so, God gave it to you, then keep it pushing. That's your response, okay? Um, so, judgment, six of swords. Let's look down here at the nine of swords, the empress, and the six of pentacles, or the seven of pentacles, excuse me. Because... It feels like the woman here doesn't want to let this go. Let me see. What's going on here? Nine of Swords and plus Seven of Pentacles. She, Nine of Swords and plus Seven of Pentacles. Tell us more about this. Holy Spirit. Oops. Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. Hmm. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. Clarify this Empress here. Clarify this Empress here. Queen of Cups. Perfect Empress here. Knight of Pentacles. Oops. Who's that? Two of Cups in the reverse. Clarify the Empress. Trying to see, I feel like this is the wife. Clarify the Empress, but I just want to make sure this is the wife. This is the wife here, or the partner. Because remember, there's two of them. They showed up as the lovers. Um, it's a couple here. I would just be two of cups in the reverse. Clearly this person, I don't feel like this is someone who, clearly you, this is not someone who you wanna be connecting with, okay? Um, in the upright is a partnership. In the reverse, this is not someone who's gonna be seeing eye to eye with you. Um, or someone, this is not someone who you should be seeing eye to eye with is what I'm trying to say. Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers. I wonder if this is another person who they're sending towards you. Page of Swords. Bear with me, you guys. I feel like they're sending another person towards you. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I do feel that way. They could be sending. So last time they sent someone who was of the opposite sex, hoping that you would be interested in them, right? And that person would backstab you. I feel like now they're sending someone towards you who is of the same sex. <laughs> These people just won't get tired, will they? 
Queen of Cups, but look, Two of Cups in the reverse. It's not going to be a good match. I don't feel like you're going to be interested. So now they're sending you a Queen of Cups, um, and I feel like it's 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 a, it's the same sex, and the two this person's meant to come towards you as a friend, someone platonic. But I don't feel like you're going to be interested in them. That's why the Two of Cups, I don't feel like you're going to be interested in this offer. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles, lovers. There's something about this person that you're not gonna like. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, there's something, Five of Wands. This person's coming towards you karmically. They're, they're coming towards you to cause you drama. There's going to be lots of drama, lots of immaturity. No, it's a no. And you're going to see it for yourself. This is someone who they're, this is another person who they're sending towards you. The, the woman here is very frustrated because these people have been setting traps and you're not stepping in it. You're not falling for it. The, the, the empress, which I feel is his wife, She's in the nine of swords. She's stressed out. She's like, why can't I get this little girl? Why can't I get this little boy? Because these people are clearly like, they're putting emphasis on your age for some reason. But eight of wands, six of wands, you just keep on dodging. <laughs> you keep on dodging their traps and you keep on elevating. You're the six of wands. You're gaining more, more and more supporters. You keep on rising you keep on uh, gaining recognition. Six of Wands is someone who's popular, victorious. They're being recognized. There's even like talk about you, Eight of Wands. People talk good things about you. You keep on rising to the top without even trying to. It's just natural. You're just a natural born superstar. You know, and and I feel like it's causing his wife, it's causing this empress here to, it's giving her some ego, uh, ego uh, bruise. The hangman. I feel like it also causes her to feel a bit uncomfortable by you because you're like untamable. Yeah, there's something here that's causing her the nine of wands paranoia, trauma, nine of wands could even represent an illness. It's causing her to look at her own failures. Like, man, why wasn't I that successful? Why wasn't I that good? You know, that excellent when I was that age, you know, why is this young gentleman so, so good at everything? Or why is this young woman so good at everything? That's the kind of thing that's going on here. You're, you're bruising people's ego without even really trying to. But there's a, there is, they're sending you someone of the same sex to be your friend, but you're not going to like it. You're, you're, mm -mm. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're not going to like it. And what you can do is just pray for discernment so that when this person does come forward, you'll be able to know immediately because you don't want to just reject anyone who tries to be your friend. You may reject a good person, right? You don't just want to be out here being paranoid. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying be alert and use discernment so you can spot the wolves hiding in sheep's clothing. You can spot the false people while welcoming and accepting the real people, the good people who have good intentions for you. Don't just be out here rejecting people now. Um, but yeah, they're coming towards you to try to be your friend, page of cups. I feel like they may try to compliment you. This could be someone who you know, is standing next to you and they compliment something like your shoes, your clothes, whatever, because they want to strike a conversation with you. But they were not, they were sent to you intentionally. It wasn't a coincidence. This, the wife is very upset because she wants her husband to be the most powerful. 
okay? She wants her husband to be the most powerful um, and you're standing in the way because this opportunity that was that he thought he would get to make him the most powerful, it's going to you. It's yours. It's yours. Congratulations. Is there anything else that you should know? I feel like we've already exposed these people's plans, so it's gonna fall apart. Is there anything else? Holy Spirit, thank you for blessing us with this message. Four of Cups. Ooh. Okay, let me see here. Just four of cups. Four of cups. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Six of cups. Hmm. The devil. There's something here. Your person, this has to do with your king of wands. They've been feeling ignored by you. Spend some time with your with your honey bun here, your king of wands. I don't know if this is someone who you know or you just got to know, but you've, they, you, you've been in their presence. They know you, and I feel like you know them. And I feel like it's time for things to start between the two of you. Um, they've been feeling left out in the cold, a bit rejected. The devil card is here. Then you have the strength card, okay? It's causing this person because they feel like you're rejecting them or you're resisting them. So it's causing them to become a bit obsessive, okay? Um, it's like it, the more you push them away, the more they, they come closer and closer and start doing things to control you. That's how they respond to you rejecting them. Um, or even if you're not rejecting them, they feel rejected. There's nothing wrong with showing your interest in someone, okay? You can make the initiative. You can hint to them. I don't know if the two of you have been together or this is something that's new, but um, this person, they're already, like, they're meant to be in your life, even if they're new, okay? They're meant to be in your life, but it's showing up that they feel rejected. Change. imprisonment maybe you should make a move there's something here if you know who this person is you could ask to speak to them adjudication is here hmm Okay, I think I know what, what's going on here. I think I know what's going on with your person. They Okay, scratch what I just said. Here's what's going on with your person. You have a job opportunity that's coming towards you, occupation. And you know how I said this person, I mean, the two of you are meant to be like this, two peas in a pod, right? You two of you are meant to be like this. They are your, your, your bodyguard. They are here to guard you, protect you, um, and they're not going to be happy when they hear about this occupation, this job opportunity. Anything that they feel would put distance, distant horizons, anything that they feel would put distance between the two of you, they're uncomfortable. Why are they uncomfortable? Because I'm telling you, it's like this is how it's meant to be. Innately, this person is a protector for you. So anything where you're going to be far away from them, it's unsettling. It's unsettling. They will become very worried. So I feel like you should definitely talk to them about this. Um, it's time to start connecting with this person and talking to them and opening up to them so that they can know what's going on, okay? Um, hmm. I'm looking here at this devil. If it was up to this person, they want you to be with them 
or around them at all times. It's something with this like distance here. I don't know if with, with this job it's gonna be at a distance or if with this job you're gonna have to travel. Um, let me see here, something is uncomfortable. Something's gonna be uncomfortable to them. Mature women. Courthouse. There's something here, official person. Hmm. You may have to do some traveling or you may have to take a trip somewhere. You are going to become an official person because of this job. The official person is a professional. These are the sorts of people you see in their suit and tie or some sort of uniform, okay? Um, Like you're gonna be doing some serious business here. Whatever this occupation is, it's a powerful position. Um, but it's something about your person that just, they want this all the time. The two of you hand in hand at all times where they can see you and know that you are well and safe. And there are changes coming in, like where your schedule may even change. Maybe you have a stable schedule, you know? Maybe you even live quite a simple life where you go to work and you come back or you work from home, so you're home often. And they like that. They like knowing what's going on with you, where you're at. Um, they like that, but change is here. You're not going to be locked up anymore. You're not gonna be confined anymore change is coming you're going to have a lot of freedom and it's good freedom where you can expand grow and prosper but with judication here judication is a review where you'll need a mediator counselor i feel like it's a talk that needs to happen between the two of you so that they can understand these changes that are happening in your life and not be so turned off by these positive changes in your life, okay? Because I don't feel like with the double here, I feel like they're gonna become more and more protective, but more and more controlling. And there's a difference between being protective versus being controlling, right? They're meant to protect you, not control you. But if they are unsettled by something, they will become controlling. And there needs to be a discussion here, okay? Distant horizons. Yeah, because you're going to, like the distant horizons card represents your dreams, your imaginations, and your yearnings are all about to come to life. You're about to get the freedom that many people don't have, and you're going to you're gonna have the abundance too, to really live the life that you wanna live. Uh, despair and main male. <laughs> They're not gonna like that for some reason. They're not gonna like that. They're not, look, poverty. Journey. A discussion must happen, okay? A discussion must happen. Or I can see this may turn sour where they really try to shut off, shut down your dreams, your yearnings, so that you can stay put right where you're at. And I hope that you won't allow them to do that.
okay? They're there to protect you and guard you and be a supportive lover, not to control you, okay? Um, because I see if this person starts to control you, they'll make things very hard for you. They'll make pursuing your dreams very hard, okay? So it's just a matter of talking things to them, like talking things out, communicating, so that they don't have to be so worried when you are having to go out and about, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoy this message, okay? Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.